Hello everyone, my name is CCG88 and welcome to episode 58 of the refurbished Logo Evolution series. I have done an RLE on two of the major film companies from Italy and one of the most vital movie studios from Spain. I think we should do another huge film company from a different country. Let's go to Germany and have a look at Konstantin Film. Konstantin was founded in Frankfurt, Germany on April 1st, 1950 as Konstantin Film Valet GmbH. The last part stands for that, which means Company with Limited Liability in English. In the beginning, the company mainly distributed films in Germany, which were produced by Columbia and United Artists. In 1964, they became Konstantin Film, and a year later, another German organisation called Bertelsmann became Konstantin's shareholder. They wanted to improve the company's output, but this only decreased their popularity. They also wanted to release adulterated films and distribute even more movies from other countries, rather than shooting their own. In 1969, Bertelsmann sold Konstantin, and they were bankrupt by 1977, essentially killing the company. However, two years later, a man called Bernd Eichinger acquired the remaining rights and brought Konstantin back to life. At that time, they were known as New Konstantin Film. They fixed their position as the years followed and remains open to this day. They might have been founded in 1950, but they've only had five logos so far, with the first one starting in 1962. It looks like this. It has the nickname The Sunburst, and it was used until 1982, and was seen again in 2007 and 2011. I have 14 videos of this. Three are in black and white. The original version from 1962 is what's on screen now. The fonts for the Constantine and the Brink text change from then on. Here is the normal version of that, and this is a scoped variant. The remaining 11 videos are in colour. The colours vary. Six of them have a strong blue background. It might have looked more purple because of deterioration. Four have a green, yellow or orange-like background. Again, because of decay, the colours may look washed. 
two state new Constantine beginning in 1979. The 14th video I have is the 2011 version, which has some 3D text. This is a logo that has scared some people, and they've always blamed the music. I don't think the tune is scary, but I sort of think it's unnecessary. Nevertheless, I do like it, and it does remain a favourite to many. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any footage for the next logo, but it isn't entirely that disappointing since it's a still. Here's what it looks like. Let's call it Boring Constantine for now. It was apparently used from 1984 to 1996. This might have been used for 12 years, but only two films are listed on the CHU Wiki, The Neverending Story and The Name of the Rose. I checked German prints for both films, and both were plastered. Also, the new at the top is missing an E. They do fix the spelling with the next logo, which is also a still. Here it is. We'll name it Boring Constantine 2. I believe it was used from 1987 to 1996, but I could be wrong. I have three videos. Two have a black background, and one has a bleed background which only lasts a second. It's nothing special, but at least the spelling mistake has been fixed. These two logos are very forgettable. Not only are they boring, but they've also been plastered by this. Welcome to the Constantine film reel. This was introduced in 1996 and is still in use today. I have five videos. When this logo came out, the text was red. Beginning in 1999, the text turned white, a URL would sometimes appear too. I also have a version with yellow coloured text. Here's an in credit variant I found from 2007. I'm not that mad that this logo plasters older ones. It's neatly animated for 1996 and it's still cool to see 23 years later. My only complaint though, is that when the text finally appears at the end, it cuts too quickly and unexpectedly. The music fits and is overall a very decent logo. In 2010, they launched a new logo to be used in tandem with the previous opener. The last logo today looks like this. We settled on the name Constantine Skyline and it's been in use since 2010.
I've collected four variants. One is the same as before, but with the opening theme to the film. One's a full logo on a black background, also with the opening music. And the other two are in credit notices. This might be simpler than what they had antecedently, but it still has great CGI. It has some effort. You don't need to have a lot of computer animation involved in order to make a fantastic logo. I really wish Constantine had more logos to be honest because of how good their main ones are. I'm glad they've been consistent with them though. Whatever comes up next will hopefully be a decent sight. For now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye!